this video, I'm going to show you how you can scrape data off web pages like Glassdoor in order to create meaningful reports in Power BI. We're going to go through it step by step from an empty report so you can follow along the way. And if you decide to stick around to the very end, I'll show you how you can loop through multiple pages and compile them into one data set using functions. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanana and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I teach beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So first, let's go through the Glassdoor site together. Glassdoor is essentially where employees can anonymously give their reviews to the company they work at currently or previously worked at in order to give a better view of what it's like to work there. You can use the website for many number of things like like job search, but we'll focus on the review section of the site. Let's look at Microsoft's company page, for example. We can see that there are around 26,000 reviews made by employees, which is quite a lot of data to go through. If you scroll down here, every review is anonymized with some details like their rating, their comments about the company, etc, etc. So how you would use this is if you're applying for a technician role for Microsoft, for example, you'd be able to filter the technician role to see what they're saying about how it is to work over there as a technician. And if I keep scrolling down here, there are a few more reviews and then they are split into more pages in the site. Let's imagine you were given a task to create a report which gauges the sentiment from this site. So basically pull in all the reviews and their details to create some gauges like average reviews or reviews based on location, things like that. So we can use Power BI to start scraping off those details from the web page itself. Let me show you how you do that. We click get data then from web and you'll want to paste the Glassdoor web page here where we have the reviews page for Microsoft and click OK. Power BI will suggest you some tables based on the web page you're looking at. If you click at table one, you will see that this table has most of the details that we need in order to create our report. So we'll just take this one and transform this for now and clean the table up a little bit. I'm going to speed up the transformation process a bit to save time. But basically, I'm just cleaning up the formats and removing the columns we don't need. So that's easier to work with when we create our visuals. Once we have the data looking like how we want to, let's load it into the model and start creating some simple visuals. With the data we have, we can get the average rating for the 10 reviews we fetched from Glassdoor. I'll chuck it onto a card, but you can display it in many different ways. You can show the volume of reviews and when they were made using a line chart. You can show from which location the review was made. Just don't forget to categorize the location column as a place so Power BI recognizes it as a location. You can also use a custom visual called the word cloud to visualize the pros and cons comments that the employees made. We can even add filters to be able to slice and dice the report by position or to only see former or current employee ratings. Again, I'm going to speed through this chart since I assume you already know how to make your reports look pretty and presentable. If you're interested in that kind of video, I can probably cover that in the future. Now we have a report that sort of looks right, but if you haven't noticed yet, we have a tiny problem. Remember Glassdoor splits these reviews into different pages. So each page has 10 reviews, then the next page has another 10 reviews and so on. This means that because we only connected to the first page of this review page, we only get the first 10 reviews from that web page. Let me show you how you can add the other pages into the data set. Let's hit get data from web again and let's paste the page two URL of the Glassdoor page now. Again, let's click table one and transform data. So far, it's the same steps that we did on page one. Now here, instead of doing our transformations again, we'll go back to our original reviews query. We'll go back to the step called extracted table from HTML. And from here, we'll hit append queries. What this will do is essentially combine the results from page one and page two into the same table. But because we're inserting this step before we did our data cleaning, 
our page two data gets included into the data cleaning process for page one. So we don't have to redo the cleaning process again on this page. Let's just disable the load on this page two query we made. It just hides this query from the report view. Now you'll see that once I hit close and apply, our visuals will re-evaluate and now they're using our reviews on page one and page two. Well, you're probably wondering at this point, well, that's great for page two, right? But there are more pages than page one and page two. I want to see more, but I don't want to have to keep doing this manual process of making the queries again and again for each page. Well, there's actually a more efficient way to do this. It just requires a bit of M knowledge and some functions. So let me show you how you can do that. Let's go back to our Power Query to see our data. Highlight page two and click Advanced Editor. This opens the M Editor, which is basically the code language that runs underneath all the applied steps that you see on your Power Query. What we'll do is create a variable that we can use to loop through the different review pages. And don't worry if you don't know what this all means for now. I'll summarize it step by step at the very end, so follow me for now. We'll then stick this variable inside the URL we have for Glassdoor. From this URL, basically, we know that every time we move to another page, this part of the URL changes. So page two URL shows P2, page three will show P3 and so on. We want to be able to programmatically change these numbers using the variable we just created. Once you hit OK, you'll see that our query is transformed into a function. It has an FX sign next to it. Let's create a new blank query. And in this blank query, let's type curly brackets two dot dot ten for now when we hit enter you'll see that it generates a list of numbers from two to ten we'll use this list of numbers to indicate which pages we want to bring to our report so in this case we want the pages two to ten let's convert this into a table change the data type to text hit ok and then under add column hit invoke function we'll select page two you see that it asks for page. This is the variable name we created earlier, if you remember. We say use column one, which is the list of numbers from two to 10 and hit okay. Then this part might take a while depending on your internet connection or the amount of data you're trying to get. But once it's finished loading, you see that there will be a new column. And inside those cells are tables which is the data we need for every page. Now all we need to do is delete the column pages. We don't need that anymore. Expand the new column and voila, we have all that data now from pages two to 10. Let's now append that data to our main query reviews. It's complaining now because we modified the page two into a function, but no worries. Uh, all you need to do is click the gear icon under the append query step. We want this step to use our new query now then hit OK. And you now have the Glassdoor reviews for pages one to 10. Let me disable the load for our query one. Hit close and load. And once that's all loaded up, you'll see that our visuals refresh their calculations for pages one to 10, which is exactly what we wanted. Let's go back to our queries and recap what we just did. First, we created a query for page one, where we did all of the data cleaning we wanted to do, so we can create our visuals. Then we created a separate query for page two. And then we appended that result into page one. So we're only doing our data cleaning in one query. We then converted our page two query into a function. So instead of bringing in page two, we want to use this multiple times to the other pages we want, not just page two. A function basically allows us to reuse bits of code for any repetitive tasks. Don't confuse this definition with DAX functions though, it, which is conceptually the same, but not implemented the same way here. We added a variable in this function so we can change the page numbers on the Glassdoor URL. We created another query with a list of two to 10, these are the page numbers we want to fetch. Then we invoked our function to create a new column. So basically what happens here is for every row in our list, we invoke the function and feed the page number into the variable to get the data for that page. So for example, row one invokes the function and says, okay, bring me page two data. And then row two invokes the function and says, okay, bring me page three data and so on and so on. And as you suspected, you can get more pages if you modify this list. So if you say wanted hundred pages, you can do that. But just be aware of how this will affect the speed of your report since that's a lot of web pages to go through. The last thing we did is expand the tables into one table 
and then append it back into our main query reviews. Again, because we append the data before we started the data cleaning, we don't need to redo all of those steps, which is great for us. And there we go. That's how we scrape data off Glassdoor pages using Power BI. So what did you think? Will you be using these techniques for your future projects? Let me know in the comment section below. Give this video a like if it helped you. It's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this type of content. Get in touch using the social media links that I added in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching this video, guys. See you again on the next one.